in this part we'll talk about two more zooflagellates we have discussed three so this is the fourth one that we are talking of and it is giardia intestinalis it is commonly known as grand old man of intestine once we draw its diagram, it will be clear why this name has been given to this particular zooflagellate. It was discovered by Anton von Leeuwenhoek. And the interesting part is, it was discovered by Leeuwenhoek in his own fecal matter. So he analyzed his own feces and he found this particular zooflagellate. Giardia was the first pathogenic protist to be discovered. So Anton von Leeuwenhoek discovered it in his own fecal matter and this was the first pathogenic protist which was found out. Now this particular organism has many unique things. It is binucleate. It has an adhesive disc with the help of which it, it attaches. The name is intestinalis. It is found in the intestine and where it gets attached in the intestine with the help of this disc. It has Exostyle. Exostyle is a long strong structure which is made out of microfilaments and it also has parabasal body. Parabasal body is a large irregular flexible body which is found inside the cell and it has four pairs of backwardly directed flagella backwardly directed flagella. So let us first draw this structure and then we'll try to understand all these parts. The shape is slightly conical from the lower side and broad from the upper side. Binucleate, there are two nuclei. So these are the two nuclei. And the nuclei are connected by a rhizoplast. From the rhizoplast, we find certain microtubules or microfilaments which form this long structure which is a supporting structure. Let us draw the flagella. There are four pairs and they are backwardly directed. That means they will arise from here and they would come towards the back side. So let me draw these flagella. So this is one flagellum, it is arising from here, goes down. The other flagellum arises from here and goes down. This is one pair. The second pair arises from the lower side and they go on two sides. Another pair from this exostyle and the last pair arises from the bottom part. So there are four pairs of flagella. So these are all flagella. These two structures which we have drawn, these are the nuclei. Two nuclei are there. This structure is the exostyle. And there is a large irregular structure which is called exostyle. The irregular structure that is parabasal body. So here somewhere we find a large irregular structure. This is the parabasal body. Now if we look at this structure it appears as if there are two eyes and a large mouth. And the arrangement of flagella is such that it gives the appearance of an old man. It is found in the intestine and so it is known as grand old man of intestine. 
it is monogenetic it is monogenetic that means life cycle only in humans the infection is caused by contaminated food and water so it is direct and oral infection is direct and oral by contaminated food and water it also undergoes encystment encystment is when the life cycle is complete it reproduces and then it gets excreted out along with fecal matter <coughs> and that's how Leeuwenhoek found it in the fecal matter the food and water which is contaminated by this water coming from sewage or uh, any dirty area then the cysts they come into this food and water and again enter into our body the reproduction process or reproductive process is by longitudinal binary fission the disease which is caused is known as giardiasis and the common symptoms are diarrhea and dysentery because it is found in the intestine so the name given is grand old man of intestine because of its appearance and the location where it is found this is our fourth zoo flagellate that we have talked about let us talk of one more zoo flagellate and this is the fifth one it is trichomonas vaginalis as the name tells us it is found in the vagina of human females now the males here acts act as carriers so there are no symptoms seen in case of males trichomonas has four anterior flagella and one backwardly directed flagella again let us see the structure it also has paradisal body it also has exocyte the shape is more or less oval the nucleus is present near the anterior edge here is the basal body or basal complex because it is formed by the fusion of many basal bodies and closer to it is this irregular structure which is called the para basal body now there are four anterior flagella which are free so 1 2 3 and 4 these are the anterior flagella the posterior one it arises from here and it goes all along the body and then is free from the posterior side all along the body this flagella is connected to this body with the help of undulating membrane and then at this end it is free so it forms an undulating membrane so this structure actually helps the organism to move this undulating and this large structure which we have drawn here is para basal body this structure is the nucleus the membrane is made up of protein and is known as pellicle it is called pellicle it is highly flexible now where is this exocyte exocyte it arises from the lower side of the nucleus and these are the microfilaments which join to form a rigid structure so it has one nucleus five flagella are there four free anteriorly and the one which goes on the posterior side runs all along the length of the cell and is free from the other tip 
all along its length it is attached to the cell with the help of a thin membrane to form an undulating membrane. This is trichomonas vaginalis. Now the disease which is caused is known as leukorrhea. Leukorrhea is when there is white smelly discharge from vagina. Then that uh, disorder or that condition is known as leukorrhea. So this is one more zooflagellate. In all five we have seen that flagella is definitely present and that's why they are kept under this group that is zooflagellata. Most of them are endoparasites as we said and pathogenic. Some of them are diagenetic that means they need two hosts to complete their life cycle whereas some are monogenetic that is like giardia. So after zooflagellata, now from the next part we will start with another group of protozoans.